so in today's video we are going to be learning about how we can use a number to quantify the courtesies of a distribution or the courtesies of a probability distribution and just like we did when we were working with skewness we can actually use the moment of the mean to actually determine the courtesies of a distribution so uh, the formula that we're going to be using to get the courtesies of a distribution or we can say the formula we're going to be using to quantify the courtesies of a distribution is going to be based on the moment of the mean and the standard deviation uh, just like we said when we're trying to get the skewness of uh, a distribution the courtesies formula can have several variations depending on the type of data set that we have at hand so let's move into our worksheet to see what the formula looks like so in the mathematical terms the formula for the courtesies so we have uh, the courtesies is uh, actually going to be equals to the fourth moment at the fourth moment of the mean divided by the size of the data so that is let's say n uh, minus one times the standard deviation so we can use the notations that says a uh, mu4 where the mu4 represents the fourth moment of the mean uh, we also have a uh, n minus one times the standard deviation and there's raised to the power of four right here so this is raised to the power of four so uh i need to make some clarifications we can have the courtesies based on the population data and uh, we can have the courtesies based on a sample data so if we are working with a population data uh the courtesies formula is going to be a bit different so we are going to be having uh the courtesies so let's just write population right here is going to be equals to the fourth moment and then we have uh, n which represents the size of the population times the population standard deviation or raised to the power of four so this is the formula we use to get the courtesies of a population and when we have a sample so we have the courtesies of a sample so we have sample right here so we are going to be having something like the mu for which still represents the first moment of the mean and then right here we have a n minus one so where this n right here represents the size of the data set and then we have uh, the sample standard deviation or raised to the power of four so our letter s represents the sample standard deviation and these are the basic variations of the formula for the courtesies based on either we have a population data or we have a sample Data. so the formula for the fourth moment uh, is actually given as so let's write that here so mu4 is actually going to be equals to summation uh, we have uh, xi minus x bar uh, raised to the power of 4 so this also depends on the type of data set that we have at hand so this formula right here is going to be used when we have an ungrouped data and if we have a grouped data to be specific a grouped data based on score we are going to be having uh, mu4 is equals to summation f into bracket x i minus x bar or raised to the power of four and uh, if we have a group data to be specific a grouped data based on class we are going to be having something like mu4 is going to be equals to summation f into bracket x m i minus x bar or raised to the power of four where x m i right here represents the middle class of each of the classes so now that we've explained every details we need to know regarding the formula for quantifying the courtesies of a distribution it's time for us to solve a question so let's solve the question and here's our question question says that billy wants to know how much time on average does his colleague in school spends in the library in a week uh, he took a random survey by asking students how much they spend reading and got the following data set so we have our data set starting from 2 3 2 down to 4 the time is we're measured in hours and we're supposed to find the courtesies of this distribution so before i try to solve this question i need us to remember that when we have a courtesies value that is equals to three it simply implies that we have a meso a meso distribution rather which is also known as a normal distribution and uh, if you have a courtesies value that is greater than three it means that we have a leptocortic distribution and uh, we have our courtesies value lesser than three it means that we have a platycotic distribution so that being said it's time for us to get the courtesies value for this data set and as you can see our data set is actually in the ungrouped manner so we have an ungrouped data but i would like to get those courtesies uh, the courtesies of those distribution based on the group data so that means that i want to create a frequency table for this data set 
of hours. So uh, let me quickly rush to the frequency table. So from our frequency table, it simply implies that the value of 2 occurred 3 times, or the value of 3 occurred 5 times, the value of 4 occurred 6 times, till we get to 7, which actually occurred 2 times. So since we've created uh, a frequency table for our data set, it simply implies that right now we actually have a grouped data, and to be specific, a grouped data based on score. So we also need to know whether this is a sample data or a population data. And as you can see, uh, Billy collected the uh, data set from the students, the total number of students in the school. So that simply implies that we are working with a sample data. So that means that the courtesies formula K is going to be equal to the fourth moment divided by the size of the data set uh, minus one times uh, the standard deviation or is the power of 4. So the size of our data set is actually simply the sum of the frequency and when we try to get the sum of the frequency, we have our summation f to be equals to 20. So we have a total of 20 data set right here. So that means uh, our n is actually equals to 20, that is the sample size. So the next step is for us to get the value of the uh, fourth moment of mean and the value of the standard deviation. So the formula for the first moment of mean which is a mu4 is going to be equals to uh, we have summation f into bracket and uh, we have a uh, xi minus x bar or raised to the power of 4. So from this formula we can be able to tell that we need the value of the mean. So to get the value of the mean of the data set we have the formula for the mean uh, which is x bar to be equals to summation fx divided by summation f so we have to create another space for uh, the value of fx so this is fx right here so 2 times 3 that gives us 6 uh, 3 times 5 that gives us 15 so the sum of fx is going to be we have our summation fx is going to be the sum of 6 plus 15 plus 24 plus 15 plus 6 plus 14 and that gives us 80. So summation fx is equal to 80, summation f is equal to 20. So we can be able to get the value of mean. So the value of the mean which is x bar is going to be equal to summation fx divided by summation f and that's going to be equal to 80 divided by 20 and that gives us 4. So the value of the mean of this data set of us is actually equals to 4. So now that we have the value of the mean, we can be able to get the value of the fourth moment, which requires us to have uh, x i minus x bar. So we have to uh, reconstruct our table to have the necessary details. So we are going to be needing uh, x i minus x bar. Then we have this line. We are also going to be needing uh, x i minus x bar all squared this will be needed for getting the value of the standard division so we can also draw the line we are also going to be needing the, needing the value of uh, f into bracket x i minus x bar all squared we also need the value of uh, x i minus x bar all raised to the power of 4 And for the final part, you are going to be needing f into bracket x i minus x bar or raised to the power of 4. So these are the details we need to get the moment, the fourth moment and the standard deviation. So x i minus x bar simply means that each of the variables, that is x, uh, subtracted from the mean. So 2 minus 4, we have that to be equal to minus 2. Uh, 3 minus 4, we have that to be equal to minus 1. So the next is uh, x i minus x bar all squared and that's just simply the squared of the deviation so two squared actually gives us four uh, minus two squared rather gives us four minus one squared is gives us one so uh, the next is going to be uh, f times x i minus x bar all squared which is the product of the frequency and uh, the squared of the deviation so and that's going to be equal to three times four that gives us 12 uh, five times one that gives us five so the next is for us to have uh, the fourth truth of the deviations that's going to be equal to x i minus x bar all raised to the power of 4 and that's going to be equal to minus 2 raised to the power of 4 uh, that gives us 16 minus 1 raised to the power of 4 that gives us 1. So the next step is to multiply the frequency with the fourth power of the deviations. So 
let's quickly do that so this is going to be equals to uh, 3 times 16 that gives us 48 uh, 5 times 1 that gives us 5 now that we have all of the necessary details from our table, it's time for us to get the fourth moment. Now, the formula for the fourth moment is our summation f into bracket x i minus x bar all raised to the power of 4. So that means we have to sum everything we have here. That is a 48 plus 5 plus 0 plus 3 plus 16 plus 162. And that gives us 234. So that means our summation f into bracket x i minus x bar all raised to the power of 4 is equals to we have that to be equals to 234 so this is the value of the fourth moment so we need to get the value of the standard deviation now for uh, our data set the formula for the standard deviation is the square root of the variance and so we have our sd to be equals to the square root of summation f into bracket xi minus x bar all squared divided by summation f so we have the square roots Summation f into bracket x i minus x bar all squared simply implies that we are going to be summing the product of the frequency and the squared of the deviations, and that is going to be the sum of the column or the sum of values in this column right here. So that is a 12 plus 5 plus 0 plus 3 plus 4 plus 18. And when we do the math, we have our answer to be equal to 42 divided by summation f is equal to 20. So that's going to be equal to the square root of 42 divided by 20, that gives us 2. Point one, and keeping our answer to three decimal places, the value of the sample standard deviation is a 1.449. So the value of the standard deviation is 1.449. The value of the fourth moment is 234. Our sample size is equal to 20, so we can be able to get the cortices of this data set. So let's take this uh, a bit upwards. So the formula for the cortices k is equal to the fourth moment, which is equal to 2. 134 divided by our sample size is 20 uh, minus 1 times then our standard deviation is 1.449 raised to the power of 4 and when we do the math and uh, substitute all of this into the formula we have our answer to be equal to 2.79 so the cortices value for this data set of us is actually equals to 2.79 and as you can see we have a cortices value that is actually lesser than three so that simply implies that these data sets have a cortices that is platycotic if you learned something new in this video and uh, you enjoyed this video i would really appreciate if you can subscribe to this youtube channel and turn on your notifications to get notified when i release a new video which i do at least two times in a week thanks for making it to the end of this video and we'll see you in the next one bye for now